welcome to my channel. If it's not your first time watching, welcome back. I tried some new products today. So I have been seeing a lot of new products. I feel like I've gotten, I started watching makeup YouTube again and Instagram and I feel like I've gotten thrown deep into the ads and the algorithm for the new products. So I saw a new brand called Patrick Ta and I really liked how their post looked and how their product looked. I've watched a few girls videos on it and I was intrigued. So when I stepped into Sephora last week, I had to get it. I tried not to, I did all the things. I texted my makeup girls and here I am with the new product. So if you are interested in seeing my first impression and learning a little bit about the Patrick Ta makeup and the foundation products, stay tuned. Okay y'all, so we are ready to do makeup. I got my do-rag on. I do have on a shirt, I have on a band on top. When I'm doing my makeup, I try to be as minimal as possible so it's easy to take off when I'm getting dressed. I've already done um, my eyebrows and my lashes because I really wanted to focus on getting into the foundation today and getting into the skin. So we are washed, fully hydrated. I'm going to be using the Milk Foundation, I'm sorry, the Milk Grip Primer, Hydro Grip Primer. You guys have seen me do a review on this and try this 100 million times. So not gonna do too much on that. I just like to spray some rose water on my face before just to make sure it's extra hydrated then we're gonna lock it in with the primer and I'm going to put this all over and while this sets I am going to go ahead and get into some of the details of the foundation okay so always excited when I get to see this bag like I said I popped into Sephora and uh, I saw this and I just had to run over to this section. I have ended up in the Patrick Ta algorithm. Never heard of this brand before and now I cannot stop seeing it. Um, and honestly, if I can find the original post I saw, the pigment and the saturation of the color, I sent it to my friend and was like, hey, what's this? Have you seen this? So I had to get into trying it and I resisted. My friends didn't do very well at telling me not to get it. I texted the wrong people and they were like, girl, get it. So I have the Major Skin Cream Foundation and Finishing Powder Duo. This is the packaging. It's this really reflective packaging. I got it in the shade Deep One. Uh, so this is available in a pretty decent range of shades. You guys know I'm usually in the medium to early deep shades for brands so that is about on brand here um deep one is considered a cool red which is a little bit of an oxymoron but i typically do have trouble um kind of either not being too red or not being too neutral so i was interested in trying this shade based on the name alone the packaging is kind of mirror and holographic so it's really pretty when you first pull it out but very immediately you are going to get some fingerprints on it now this does retail for $52, but, and here's where I convinced myself and other people to buy it, because it's $52, but you get two products in the package. So you get the cream foundation, and then you also get a finishing powder with it. Now it says um, that this is supposed to be sleek, convenient, flexible, soft focusing powders, glow enhancing and to help minimize the appearance of pores kind of the same spiel we get from everybody so i'm interested to see if it really stands out now for the application it does say to apply the cream foundation to clean prime skin and build to desired coverage so this is supposed to be a buildable foundation she's not instant full coverage and she's not a super sheer foundation from what i've been seeing apply translucent powder to oil prone areas such as t-zone and then they recommend using their dual ended brush now i did not purchase the brush but i have two brushes um from a amazon brush set that i got for christmas that kind of mimic the shape that they have in their dual ended brushes this one is the one that they're saying is for foundation and then they're saying to use the more rounded brush for your powder so that's what we're going to do the hydro grip has set and i just really think i haven't touched it like i haven't tried it at all but I'm very interested to see if this is if I like this product which I hope I do this is an amazing um, setup for traveling and like keeping in your purse because you have everything you need right here so I'm gonna go in like they said with the brush um, and I'm just gonna kind of stipple it and see what we get from there 
I will go on to leave by saying I got this knowing that it was a little a tinge darker for me because we're going into the warmer months so I'll quickly be into my summer shade so we're looking more for overall coverage and texture than color Ooh, that's pretty okay I'm nervous I will say I'm not color correcting or anything I will say that I noticed um, people saying it was a very dewy finish. So if you don't, if you want a matte look, okay, as I'm, I want to, I don't think you guys will be able to see this, but as I'm scooping it, focus, do you see how wet the product is turning into? It's like instantly becoming like a creamy liquid. Okay, so I started here because that's where my hyperpigmentation is. Uh, so I wanted to see how the coverage would be on those dark spots, which I have been using um, a different combination of products and it, they've been working well to lighten those. So we're working on that. But okay, I'm just so intrigued by how I don't want to use the word moist, but how moist the product is coming in the package. It's interesting and I'm like, oh, okay, that's gonna kind of like blend right into the skin, but it also makes me a little nervous because a really wet product in application, I worry that if I have any oil breakthrough or if I sweat at all, I'm gonna instantly look like we are here to fry the chicken. Oh, okay. Really getting into my hyperpigmentation. Okay. Let me keep going. Let me keep going. Let me let me stipple her on a little more for y'all. Okay, so this is her as is. She's definitely getting dewy. Like, I mean, you can see the shine on camera. So she's not a matte girl at all. I think that I would. I feel like I put a decent amount of product on. Um, although it's buildable, I don't want to like dig into the pan and put a lot on because you're gonna blow through products like that. Um I'm going to go ahead and put my concealer on. I'm going to set it with the powder, but I want to, I'm trying to decide if I want to put the concealer on and then I'm going to do it like they said. I'm going to do it like they said. So I'm going to use what would be most similar to their dome brush and go into the powder product here. Nice big mirror too. Go into the powder product here and put it in my T-zone. Okay. 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 Okay, that, that mattified her immediately. So I really think, I mean, that's why they sell, when people sell two products together, I'm like, you gotta have both. They're, for you to do what you wanna do, you gotta have both. That immediately mattified my nose. I'm gonna go in and highlight, but I like what that powder did. I don't wanna go too crazy with the powder because I still have my concealer to do. But we did a little something there. We did a little something there. I'm going in with the Pat McGrath Labs Concealer in M17. She is um, pretty golden and yellow, which is intentional because, again, I said this is a little dark and she's a cool red. So I'm going to kind of offset that and go relatively heavy with the goldenness of my concealer. I'm going to even do my forehead. I don't usually do my forehead. We're going to do forehead. This is my Real Techniques brush. She's great. She's amazing. It's a go-to, you don't have to get super fancy. Um, she does good things. I am going out tonight, it's Galentine's. It really looks like I don't have a shirt on. Um, it's Galentine's, so I will be, you know, out with the girls, drinking, um, having a little beverage, dancing, so maybe a little warm, that kind of thing. I'm gonna let this set a little bit more. I hope I'm not getting carried away with the setting. This is the Fenty um, Espresso Matchstick. I don't want to say like one of the Fenty products I really love, but it's definitely, I feel like she's a standout in all the products. The Matchstick is a, it's that girl. Yeah, this is gonna be a good summer shade. I can tell that right now. Now I'm gonna go in, using a brush first for the under eye is such a game changer for texture and coverage. That is giving skin, like, yeah, that's looking like skin. And I haven't even set anything. 
I really like how it's blending with the other products, nothing separating. Wow, I mean, that looks like skin. Okay, going in with Kanafa from Huda Beauty. Again, I do have like my pink powders and stuff, but I don't want to pull any additional red out of this foundation. And I am going to bring some warmth back into my nose. Definitely just threw a brush across the room. Charlotte Tilbury bronzer. Matter of fact, let me pull this all together first. Charlotte Tilbury bronzer. I like to just lightly go in the curves of my nose. Um, I'm not a big nose contour girl. I don't have any desire to change any shape of my nose, but I feel like that powder kind of made it all one brown, so I lost some dimension. Just shape that out. There we go. Then we're gonna go with my bronzer from Charlotte Tilbury. I knew I was gonna be given um, chisel tonight, so I'm not being shy with the bronzer. Oh, blush. What am I thinking? I have these two blushes. I think I'm going to go with her because again, don't want to get too red. And then also I'm kind of going for like pink tonight. So I kind of want to play up the blushiness, if that makes sense. This is not typically the brush I would use, but we're going to go with it. This Juvia's Place is so pigmented, which is so funny that the other girls were like, oh, it's too much pigment. Who needs this much? We do, baby. I need it. My skin will drink up other people's blush, but Juvia, I have to like be sparing with, and that is what they do it for. I'm just trying to even out, because I know I got a little while with the blush. But I feel like it settles after a while. But I also kind of want a little coquette, like a little bit of a dramatic blush. So I'm not mad at it. I want it to be known that I have a blush. And then the girl of the girls, the MAC Skin Finish Steep. Never go wrong with her. I'm gonna go do my lip and kind of tie the rest of this together um, and give this foundation some time to set. And then I'll be back to let you guys know what I think about this Patrick Ta foundation. If it's living up to what I thought she was gonna live up to when I found her on Instagram. I'll be back. Okay, so I am back. We're in our pink. We're being festive for Valentine's Day. And I've had a good bit of time to kind of let this settle and do its thing. And I'll be honest, a lot of times I am questionable about cream foundations. And y'all saw I was really concerned about the wetness and the moisture of the products. But once I kind of did everything, put my powders on, set it, everything like that, it is actually not like overtly dewy or shiny or greasy on my skin. And I am oily combination. And the good and the bad, blessing and a curse, is this foundation is like skin. Like it appears like my skin, which is good if you just want um, coverage, you just want to kind of smooth your skin as is and not really change or enhance anything. But I do see how it could maybe be an issue if you do have a lot of hyperpigmentation or you want a really full, thick, coverage foundation but what i was looking for because i don't wear makeup as often and as often in the capacity that i used to i used to be full glam all the time now that i'm kind of looking for like i can kind of put it on and go and not have to do a full face because it looks weird with such a full foundation i do think this will be something good like i said to travel with or to put in my purse because i can put this on my face and not even do all of the things and it will just appear like an improved version of my skin does that make sense? So if you are looking for full of beat, you want to hide every issue you've ever had, you want a new face, like I used to say when I had the Kat Von D foundation, I don't think this is this, but I do think it is good if you want skin like natural because I feel like this looks like the texture of my skin, but just appears better for lack of a better word. Um, there's dew, but it's not oily. I'm interested to see how it looks in a couple hours. But for $52, honestly, getting the finishing powder and the foundation when 
the kids are getting crazy right now. Foundation and powders, everything is like $45 for one item, $50 for one item. So to get both of them for basically $25 each is a really good deal. They do have blushes and concealers and things like that. So I'd be interested to see how those work all together with the product. Y'all know I love to one brand a face. So I would be interested in that. But the Patrick Ta gets eight thumbs up for me. I was impressed by, like I said, the shade and the pigment and the amount of shades they had. Um, always want to see deeper. But I was pretty impressed by it. And the videos I've seen of the girls who are I, like some of the deeper tones, deepest range, they've been impressed with it as well. So it can see yes for me. I don't know where Patrick Ta came from, but I like it. Yeah, I do like this. I see, like you see some dew and some shine here, but I feel like that just looks like skin. That's what makes it look not full matte, not full like dry, one slate kind of thing. It still has that texture to it. So thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you've been seeing Patrick Ta like I have, or if I'm just deep into this algorithm. Um, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.